So I just wanted to give a really quick video rundown of the MIUI ROM for Android because it kind of just deserves a video walkthrough since it's so different from everything you're used to and it's so good looking. Uh, you'll notice the first thing when you open it up, it's very, very different looking than normal, most Android ROMs. Uh, it's almost iOS-like or more like Samsung's TouchWiz interface that they have on their phones. You've got all the square icons and the menus are very iOS-like. Um, you kind of just you swipe between screens to get to all your applications. You don't have a dedicated app drawer, but you do have a lot of home screens, and it's very easy to add a home screen or manage those icons, so you don't miss it as much as you think you would. You do still have the notification drop-down, which is one of the best parts of Android, um, and it's also added this little version of the power control widget at the bottom that you can swipe through and quickly access pretty much any setting you need, even reboot or shut down. It's also got a few extra features on the lock screen that lets you quickly access your dialer or messaging app just by touching it and swiping down. And you'll notice that apps like the dialer or contacts are different than on stock Android. You see the contacts app here is very nice looking, very fluid. The music app is one of the best parts. It's got this really great almost car home like interface. You can quickly access your albums or artists right from the home screen. Um, or access your now playing window at any time just by hitting that now playing button, kind of like uh, Winamp on Android. It's really nice. It's much more stable, much a little bit more feature filled than the stock music app, and it takes up less memory, which is fantastic. The other, the other really, really big part of the MIUI ROMs is speed. You'll notice that this is really fluid, really fast. Even on this old Motorola Droid, it's running fantastically. Um, and I haven't tweaked it at all. I just flashed it, and this is kind of what it was like. When I was running something like Cyanogen, I had to go through all these different tweaks and use a different home screen launcher just to get it to kind of run smoothly enough where it, it wasn't slow and laggy. Overall, it's a great ROM to try out if you're a little bit sick of the way Android looks or works by default. Honestly, if they had it for my main phone right now, I'm no longer using this Droid. I would be trying it out as my main ROM. So uh, it's available for quite a few devices. So head over to the website and check it out.